Hello my friends, Caddy here, sharing my 34th process video titled Here Comes Trouble. It's a picture of my two boys, and this is a pretty old picture. This is uh, from 2009, so digging into those old pictures, um, which I have to do. <laughs> um, so I'm beginning with um, some mist, which I'm going to use to create my own background. Um, that is some white watercolor paper. And the mist that I'm using, this first one, is Heidi Swap Color Shine, and that is in the mustard color. I love that mustard color and I'm just using some packaging to kind of um, you know drip it on there and, and, and just use you know just place it like you see the second uh, mist I used was um, Lindy Stamp Gang a bit a bubbly the third one which is that um, the turquoise teal one is the uh, Lindy Stamp Gang Marcibo Cool Mint and then the darker uh, one is a darker uh, turquoise one is the mint green from Heidi Swap Color Shine I'm taking um, now the, uh, oh, I'm just showing you there what they are. Oh, I'm sorry. And the Lindy Samkang, the second one was Cosmopolitan Pink. Sorry. Um, and then this is the Heidi Swap Cherry, which I'm using to splatter on uh, some, some of that red. And then I'm just using the same colors to make some splatters um, on the page. So, and then some more uh, with that packaging. And that's just packaging from... Um, probably some thickers or, or stickers or something that I had uh, lying around so that's what I'm using for that and then I walked away for a minute now because I went to uh, get my photo there it is um, so that's a photo of my two boys I'm gonna use uh, as far as paper I'm gonna use this uh, six by six paper pad which is the first time I'm actually using it um, it's the American Crafts uh, hip hip hooray paper pad um, it's more of a birthday themed paper pad which fit in this case because this picture was taken at a birthday party at a, one of my cousin's um, daughter's birthday party uh, actually she had a joint birthday party for both of her daughters so we were at that party there um, on that day so so it fit and then right now I'm just going through the paper pad and just pulling out papers and then I'm going to start cutting my picture down and, and um and uh, and just kind of creating my layers um, for those pictures for the picture and so what I'm doing right now I'm actually um, that part of the picture where my boys are I'm cutting that square uh, out and I'm gonna use I'm gonna just cut that out and um, mat that on some dark gray and then pop that up just so it kind of stands out because that's really the focal point of that picture you know I mean I did want to have the little car um, in the picture but um, you know really my boys are the, the focal point so that's what I'm doing right now um, and I went to go get some uh, some dark gray cardstock there you go uh, because I use that to map my the back of the photo you know the whole photo itself and then I'm going to use that to map that little piece as well but I'll do that in just a, uh, just a few and I love to use dark gray to map things because it just makes things pop dark gray or black I love and I'm going to use pops of black in this um, layout with the uh, with the um, with the thickers so that's going to be great and I'm um, just beginning by layering and it's funny because you know normal people um, they would you know pick out their papers and then they would make their background based on you know the papers <laughs> But I work backwards. I I started making my my um my background and and basically I just pulled colors that I like and then and then you know I say okay well what paper do I use and then I pick this paper pad. So that's that's kind of how I work and <laughs> it's it just doesn't make any sense. But that's how I work. So um, you know usually I, I would recommend you know pick your paper pad and then you create your background based on that. But you know what. <laughs> that's just not what works for me so um, that's what I do and then I'm just I'm cutting kind of an L out of these uh, papers just so that I won't waste all of it um, behind that photo so I'm just I'm making like an L cutting out like an L and then just using that as layers and I'm just creating layers with all these papers and I'm trying to use up as much as I can um, you know that looks good and also I didn't want to make my layers too you know, I didn't want to make uh, too many layers because I want my background to show. I mean, as it is, it's covered up, covered up uh, enough. So, um, so yeah. 
just wanted to uh, make some, some tight layers on there, pretty tight layers. And there I go. I'm, I'm, I'm matting that little insert and then I'm, I'm just putting it on uh, little foam squares to give that some dimension just so it pops off the page a little bit. I have no idea what I walked off to do. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I oh, I think I went. Um, I went looking through some embellishments I had just to see what I want to use. That's what I was doing because I didn't really pull anything out. Um, I, basically, I just started this layout as just I wanted to paint, you know, or, or kind of, you know, just throw some paint around, which which is fun. For me, it's a lot of fun to just throw paint around and <laughs> and make a cool background. So. Um, I actually made another background before this one, but I ended up using this one for my layout. Um, and when I started making the background, I didn't even know what photo I was going to use. So, you know, like I said, I just work backwards. <laughs> and that just works for me. So, you know, you got to do what works for you and you got to find what works for you and, and just go from there. So, but yeah, I was very, very happy with the result. It was really, really cool layout. And, um, and I just love that background. It's just fun and colorful and, you know, the, the color splatters are, are fun. Um, and then I pulled this. This is a Kaiser Craft. This is a Spring Bloom uh, ephemera pack. And, um, and I'm just kind of pulling pieces from there. That little uh, shine up there. Nope, that's not shine. It says smile. I don't have the layout in front of me, but I believe that says smile. Um, and then those arrows, which I actually end up not using the arrows. Um, and now that I think about it, you know, they didn't look bad. I just, I don't know, I didn't want to use them. Um, I kind of looked at it and I didn't want to use it. Which, you know what, I might add those. <laughs> I might add those back. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. I do that sometimes. I don't know if you guys do that, but I do that. I, I finish a layout and I say I'm done. And then, you know, I start looking at it and I say, okay, well, I can add this or that. Or, you know, and I try not to do that. I, I do because... You know, I mean, if you do that with every layout and you go back and add, I mean, you're never going to finish. <laughs> so, you know, I just usually, for the most part, I call it done and, and, um, and you know, and that's what I do. So now I'm just cutting up this washi tape. This is some really pretty um, uh, turquoise uh, washi tape that just has, it says love this with a little red arrow. It's really cute. Um, and it just has love this, like it a lot love 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 this like it just has those little cute sayings and the one at the bottom which has like it a lot i'm gonna actually remove because i'm gonna use that up uh, that area for my title so um i'm just kind of i'm trying to see what i want to use and then i decide let me work on my title um so i pulled those american craft little um little uh, mini alphas but i wasn't gonna have enough to write out what i wanted to say so, um, so you know, I, I decided not to go with those, um, and then I'm I'm gonna pull. Well, first I'm gonna add these um, these straws. These are actually American Crafts um, straws. They're paper straws, and they are um, the the color uh, for these is honey. They're very very cute. I actually got those at um, at Marshalls. I think they were like a dollar forty nine or a dollar ninety nine, something like that, um, for a pack. Of, I don't even know. I don't know. I think it has like 24 or something. I don't know. It's a, it's a pretty big pack. Um, and then I'm just using my Tombow, uh, Mono Tombow, to glue that down. And then you're going to see me pressing on it. And, and I kind of squish it down a bit just so that it, you know, it kind of sits better in my page, in my page protector. Um, so I just kind of squish it down a little bit and and, um, and just you know while that is uh, while the glue is drying and then I take these these are American crafts um, these are uh, doll that's the name of the of the thickers doll and they're like the fabric um, thickers which I love oh my gosh I love these thickers so much 
I was hoarding these for such a long time <laughs> until I finally decided I have to use them because I mean you know that's why I bought them <laughs> to use them so you know I, I, I did and then, this is not the first time I use them I've used them before but oh gosh I love those I'm probably gonna uh, buy some more of those once you know once I see that I've used them up because I think I only bought one pack which is weird for me because I buy uh, thickers in uh, sets of two <laughs> because I hate um, you know getting to like the point where I don't have that many letters and then you need a, like a vowel or something <laughs> and you don't have it so I always buy two just in case but then of course it just contributes to my hoarding so <laughs> um, you know I guess in this case I didn't buy two so um, oh there you go I'm showing you the name it's doll d-o-l-l -L. And those are so cute. And then I just put my title down, which is Here Comes Trouble. I just thought that was a cute title, because, because, <laughs> yeah, here they come. And it's so funny because they're in this little pink car, because it's my, my cousin has two daughters. And she was celebrating their birthday, and they have a pink car because it was at their house. So, <laughs> so they're in this pink little uh, car, and it was just so funny. And they had a good time that day. And then I actually laid down my t my uh, date with the same um, with these same thickers, um, but I did remove that. I I didn't like it. I thought it was just too big, and it was just like I don't know, it kind of distracted you from the actual. I don't know. It was just too much. So I put them on. I leave them there. You're gonna see me look at it, and then I'm gonna say no, nope, <laughs> I don't like that. So I'm gonna take them off, and I'm gonna end up using those American Crafts um, little. Uh, mini uh, turquoise ones which are to my left which I now covered um, and then I pulled this Heidi Swap um, little piece um, and this is a little stars this is that little pack that brings the stars the hearts and the circles and these are the stars and I actually cut it in half like I, I cut you know through it um, so that I could have two pieces and I placed them there and I think that just added um, you know just I think that's what it needed you know it, it needed something else so I added those and I was very happy with that and I'm glad that I finally used up that pack I actually have another one of that pack I have two because I love them so much love Heidi Swap so there you go I removed my date because I didn't like it and now I'm gonna use those to write it out and it's May 31st 2009 I'm just using my little tweezers to to uh, place those kind of where I want them and these are regular tweezers like I've, I've said before these are not craft tweezers or anything they're like just the regular eyebrow tweezers the really thin uh, edge one and um, it was just one that um I think I dropped it or something and, and they're not working you know like they weren't they weren't you know I couldn't use them on my eyebrows so <laughs> I said well hey why not use them for scrapbooking <laughs> And then, so I moved those little uh, banners off to the other side, um, which are from that um, uh, Kaiser Craft Spring Bloom pack. And then I'm actually going to take now some Mombi chips. You can see the packaging down there. And I'm sorry, my, my, my layout is kind of, you know, my camera is not um, in the center where it should be. I don't know why, but I apologize for that. If, you know, the bottom is kind of cut off, but... For the most part, you can see everything I've done. Um, and then I take those two Mombi chips. Um, I think one of them says just be you. And the other one, I can't remember what it says. Because like I said, I don't have it in front of me. The layout. Um, so I just take my Recollection Scallop Punch. And I punch out two in the dark gray color that I used to map my photo. I just punch out two of those. And then I just stick those down. And then, you know, it makes a really cute, simple embellishment. And then I popped that one up. And this one I decided to pop up as well. <laughs> and there you go. That's my finished layout. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Um, I really love to hear from you guys. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, be sure to check out my other videos. I have tons of videos on here. So um, love to hear what you guys think. Thank you and you have a great day. Bye-bye.